YouTube, what's going on with it, man? We back with another video, okay? I hope all of y'all are having a blessed day. I hope y'all feeling good, living good, all that good stuff, man. I'm coming back at y'all with another one. Um, today's video is kind of like a, almost like a, just an opinion-based video, just me speaking my mind, and just almost like venting to y'all, right? Because recently, you know, like my life, it's been like a roller coaster, man. I've been very overwhelmed very just you know just trying to figure shit out dealing with job problems and trying to find a better job it's been it's been tough y'all i'm not gonna lie but you know my life ain't perfect you know i go through things off the camera as well you know and um, i think that's why we relate so much because some of the stuff y'all go through i be going through too i be telling y'all like just because i do youtube just because y'all see people do youtube and have all this stuff or whatever that doesn't mean that they are excluded from life you know life is going to keep life in whether you like it or not whether you're successful or not successful you're going to always deal with problems man but you know, one thing about me, I'm, I'm, I'm very lion-hearted, and that's what I try to preach a lot on my channel. I try to make you guys become the strongest you can possibly be, man, because life is going to kick your ass, you know? And you got to go, you got you to gotta always stay ready, you know? And how do you stay ready? By always strengthening your mind, making your mind stronger, being less emotional, being more understanding on life, you know? Understanding that life isn't perfect, and you're going to go through things, and that's a part of being a stronger man you know part of being a stronger man is being able to conquer anything that's thrown at you you know what i'm saying that's how warriors are made that's how lions survive you know when you look at lions they have to hunt for their food they have to protect their pride you know what i'm saying they have to they have to go to war with other hyenas and they have to worry about the children being eaten by other predators out there like you have to be lion hearted in this shit man you got to be ready for a war you got to be ready for whatever life is thrown at you okay but today I wanted to speak on the truths about jobs, right? And I want you guys to give y'all thoughts and opinions on this. Um, I always felt like this when it came to jobs, but I really wanted to just kind of talk to y'all about it and really kind of open somebody's eyes, right? So these past few months, you know, I've been I've been on and off with trying to find a really good paying job in my city um, because the job that I was working at previously just wasn't it, you know what I mean? But as I go through this whole phase of finding jobs and stuff, I always go back to thinking deep about how fucked up you know we are as, as as people and how controlled we are and brainwashed we are as people you know what i'm saying and this is why i feel like it's very very important to find your true power as a human being it's very important for you to find your purpose and find your your real reason why you're here on this planet man because once you find your true purpose and once you you start opening your eyes to things you start to realize how how much we've been played and manipulated all throughout our life you know, we, we literally go out our way and we trade in our time for money just to put food on the table for our families. You know what I'm saying? Tr trading in our time for money. Just think about that, right? They make it seem like money is the most important thing, but really the most important thing is your time. Your time is the most important asset. That's all you have in this life is your time. And you don't have much time. So just think about the people that spend years on end working a job that they don't like or fulfilling somebody else's dreams. Because when you work these jobs, all you're doing is fulfilling somebody else's dreams and making somebody else a millionaire. The same time and effort that you're putting into making this person's business grow, you can literally put that same time and effort into your business. All it takes is you believing in your fucking self, man. And that's one of the sacrifices that have to be made, right? When, it, when, when you find your purpose and when you find something that you truly want to do, you got to make that sacrifice and you got to put all your energy into your purpose. Sometimes that, sometime that, 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 um, you know, sometimes you got to quit those shitty jobs to put time into you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to just bet it all on yourself, bro. We bet it all on these jobs all the time. Why can't we bet on ourselves? Why can't we believe in ourselves the same way we, we believe in these jobs? You know what I'm saying? We don't have to live the way we live in, bro. I be thinking about this shit all the time and it be blowing me. We don't have to live the way we live in. We trading in our time for money, paying for shit that come from the planet. We're paying extra money for water. Spring water. Shit that come from the planet. We have to pay water bills. Shit that come from the planet. We have to buy fruit. Shit that come from the planet. We have to literally pay to live. Like, when you really think about this shit and you put it in perspective where you really realize you are the main creator. 
You are the main person that can change your situation. You just have to trust yourself and believe in yourself. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Yeah, you're going to be broke for a few. But bet on yourself just like you bet on these jobs. Bet on yourself just like, go, like the same way you get up and you go to work every single day. Like you have to. Damn, I got to get up and go to work. Why can't we have that same mentality when it comes to our goals? I got to get up and wake up and film this content. The same way I treat work is the same way I treat my my career and my, my purpose, which is this stuff. I wake up every single morning and I film videos as if it's my job to do it. This is how we should be with our own stuff. We don't have to sit up and work check to check. We don't got to keep fulfilling these other people's dreams. We are here paying taxes. Just think about this for a minute, y'all. We are here going to work, trading in our time for money. And then have to pay these motherfuckers the same shit back. <laughs> it's just it's just crazy, man. And I'm not trying to make this video to be like on some rampful shit or whatever. It kind of is like a rant. But I'm really just trying to like open some, some people's eyes, man. Like we are being played in every aspect of our life. We are being controlled and manipulated in every aspect of our life. And this is what they do, right? This is how they trick you and in in, in, in keeping in the system. This is how they trick you into keep working. They pay you just enough to keep your ass still poor. They pay you just enough. They're not going to pay you a lot. These companies make millions of dollars. Think of it, uh, Walmart, for example. Fucking billion dollar industry. They make millions of fucking dollars. But they pay their workers, what, 15, 16 an hour? They pay you just enough to keep you a slave. They ain't going to pay you a, a lot to make you free. But they're going to pay you just enough to keep you a slave. They're gonna pay you just enough to thinking that it's a good paying job the whole time, you're still a slave. They're not they're not gonna pay you enough to get you free, they're just gonna pay you enough to get you by. Just enough for you to pay a few bills bills here and there, but you're gonna be bringing your ass back. I'm telling you, bro, bro, it's it's a scam. We are we are we are being set up, bro. It's a scam. And it's like we get one life and we be spending our one life doing stuff that we don't want to do. We don't have to do this. If everybody just woke up one day and just decided that they don't want to pay rent, they don't want to pay bills, they don't want to go to work. Just think about how positive and peaceful the world would be if everybody just got about their seat and said, you know what? We're not going to pay no bills. We're not going to pay no taxes. We're not going to go to work. When we work as a collective, that's when we can control the narrative. But we're not a collective because what they do is they spend their time dividing us. They spend their time dividing us. These elites spend their time dividing us so we don't come together and build that strength and power. Because when we come together, we have power. When we come together, we, we can create the narrative. We ain't got to tend to no president. We ain't got to tend to no job. We ain't got to tend to taxes. We ain't, we ain't got to do things that we don't want to do. Who told us that we had to pay bills? Who told us that we had to pay tax? Who told us that we had to go to work? This is all stuff that we was brainwashed and programmed to do. But like I said, if everybody was to just wake up one day and just decide not to obey by these rules that was programmed on us, this world would be a, a, a way more peaceful place. We can create our own government. We can create our own little system. We can create our own grocery stores. The same way these people are creating things to control us, we can create our own versions of that if we come together. But they know if we come together, they're going to be defeated. So what they do, they divide us with religion, color, all these different things to keep us distracted, to keep us beefing with each other. You know what I'm saying? This shit is just, it's, it's just so messed up, man, when you think about it, right? You know, the food industry is fucked with. The pharmaceutical, and like every aspect of our life is a scam, literally. They scamming us out of our health. About marketing certain foods acting like it's healthy but when you read the ingredients it's a list of a bunch of cancer causing shit a scam America is just one big business it's just one big business at the end of the day and we are the people keeping their businesses alive without us there would be no them that's what makes people that's what got to go through people head without us it would be no them so what did that says they're not really as powerful as what we think they are. They program us to thinking that they're very powerful. And they use fear mongering tactics to keep you in the system. 
once you wake up and once you start to raise your frequency and raise your vibration, you realize, you start to look around and realize that this life that we live in, this ain't how this shit's supposed to be ran. This ain't how, this, this life that we live in and the things that we do and like, it's crazy, bro. We gots to wake up. We gots to wake up. We gots to see our true power, man. We wasting our potential. Feeding other motherfuckers and keeping other people rich. I'm at the point of my life now, and I'm not saying, you know, for everybody that got kids and got responsibilities, like, I'm not saying don't go to work. I'm not saying don't handle your business. But what I am saying is we as a people have to create a plan so we don't have to keep living this way. We as a people need to raise our frequency and, uh, and actually start, you know, leveling up in consciousness and start looking around and seeing the real and what we're seeing. Every, all the truth is right there in front of your face. Wake up. The way this life is ran is not supposed to be this way, bro. It's not. Paying for natural shit? Come on, bro. Shit that literally come off a tree, we're going to work paying for. It's crazy. But like I said, once you think, you start to realize every little every little aspect of our life is a business. You know? And, and we, we are the lab rats. Keeping the businesses alive. Whenever they need to test things out, who they tested on? Us. We're the lab rats. They're the ones kind of pull, pulling the strings like puppets. And it be people out there that be complaining about their job, complaining about their life, complaining about how they don't like doing certain things. But it just be like people. It's just crazy. People scared of all this other shit. Or people would do all this other stuff and force themselves to do all this other stuff that they know psychologically they don't want to do. But when it comes to their purpose and their own hustle, they don't have that same energy. All you got to do is put, your, put, your, put that energy that you're putting into your job, working hard and actually trying to do things right and spending, waking up early. It's the same discipline you got for your job, have that same discipline for your career and your shit.